Now we're looking at two scatter plots. We want to click on the scatter plot that indicates the weakest correlation. So a weak scatter plot is going to be one that's scattered around like a cloud. The more that the points fall along a line, the stronger the correlation. The more scattered it is, the weaker. So this is a perfect positive correlation here. Uh, so it's definitely going to be the strongest correlation. Over here, we have something that looks like a cloud of, of dots. If you wait too long to make a selection, the correct answer will be uh, highlighted for you. If you click an incorrect answer, so if I were to click the wrong answer over here, let's see, this will be the wrong answer. The correct answer is highlighted. So I'm going to quickly go through here and select the correlation that is weakest, where the scatter plot most looks like a cloud of dots. Some of the scatter plots have a best fitting line drawn through them, some of them don't. And that's uh, at your discretion when you're cr creating a scatter plot. Of course, the benefit of putting the best fitting line through is for making predictions. We use that best fitting line to uh, predict a variable, a value for a variable, for example, y, given the value for a variable such as x.